Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a long ass minute since I've done a tutorial. Um, I, since my last tutorial, I got my hair done, as you can tell. I want to say I got this done like the end of April. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I actually kind of want to cut it a little bit shorter. It's kind of like a lob right now, but just like maybe like a little bit shorter. I think that'd be super cute. Um, so I've just been in a creative funk lately. That's the reason why I haven't been doing any tutorials. But since it's summer, I was like, well, why not film a summer makeup tutorial look? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for summer time, you always want to stay hydrated because it's super hot outside. So I'm going to be going in with my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream for Dry Sensitive Skin. I'm actually almost out of this stuff. It is amazing. I actually use it every single day and it, it works amazingly as a primer as well because it just like, it gets very tacky on your face and then it just like makes your face just so smooth and flawless and dewy and gorgeous. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of this, just like in my hands and then you just want to apply it to your face. Pat it in. And it, you can tell it just makes it super tacky and sticky, which is perfect for makeup to stick onto. And I also like to rub it on my hands because it just makes my hands super moisturized. Okay, so after that, I've been going in with um, my HD Studio Photogenic um, NYX Primer Base. Um, I've actually had this for a long time, and I... I guess I just didn't really know how to apply it. I think I was applying it wrong and that's why I didn't like have really good results. So I'm just going to apply this to my uh, Sephora buffing brush and I'm going to pour just like a little bit on. And this stuff actually is pretty amazing and a little goes a long way too. So what I like about this primer is that it's super lightweight and um, it doesn't feel like some primers like make your face feel like kind of because it's so sticky, it makes it kind of feel like, I don't know, I don't know how to, like, I don't know how to describe it, but this is just, like, super lightweight, and it gets the job done pretty well, I think, so, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just buff this into my face. Alright guys, so I had to pin my hair back because it was just getting in the way of everything. So once you put your primer on your face, um, what I have been doing lately is doing my eyeshadow first and then my foundation um, second, only because I think it just makes the foundation last a little bit longer. Either way you want to apply foundation, it's totally fine. You can apply it before or after your eyeshadow, it doesn't really matter. And same thing with eyebrows. I've been applying my um, eyebrows after I do my foundation. So I'll show you my whole routine. I might just do an updated foundi or foundation routine anyways because it's it's a lot different from what it was last year. I think the last time I filled it was like this time last year. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, leave some comments. Like I only do videos if my friends or my family like want to see like a certain type of makeup look. So just let me know. Okay, so... For the eyes, I'm going to be using this well-loved Wet n' Wild primer. I'm not even sure what it's called anymore because it's so old. Um, this is another product that I've had for a while, and I didn't like it before because I just think I didn't know how to, to how to apply it. Um, I think I was just buffing it in with like a, I don't know, with like a concealer brush or something, and it just, it was so damn sticky. Like, it wouldn't... Like, it wouldn't move, and every time I, it just looked so bad, but I think it's just because I was applying it wrong. So, I'm going to apply it to my ring finger, and apply it to both of my eyes. Alright guys, so I just applied this. I know you can't see, that, see it right now, but it dries really fast, and what I like about this Wet n Wild primer is that it is really really sticky so it just like really holds on to the color once you apply it on your eyes and it just makes the colors more vibrant it makes it last longer and I, I tested this primer out for a couple days and I literally my eyeshadow will just it does not fade like it does not fade at all my eyeliner either and same with the uh, my face primer the NYX HD Studio 
this stuff, like my foundation stays on all day perfectly, no touch ups, nothing. So these are really good drugstore products that work just as well as higher end makeup products. So if you're looking for a dupe, those are definitely good products to use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set my eye primer with a um, kind of bone colored shadow. So I'm going to be taking my Too Faced and my Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Coconut Cream over here, or Coconut Creme, I guess I should say. Um, and I'm just going to uh, buff this in using an all over shadow brush by Sephora. Okay, so after you set your eye primer, um, I'm going to be using a couple different palettes. I'm going to be using the Too Faced uh, Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. Um, and I have a few other eyeshadow palettes that are very old, but I just was like, I need to look into the archives because I'm getting so bored of using the same eyeshadow palettes, which I just need to go shopping for. Um, this is a MAC um, eyeshadow palette. I'm not even sure where I got it from. It's super old and and weathered away, but I actually really like these uh, peachy like pink tones in here that I'm probably just going to use for this tutorial. And then also this um, I shot a palette. I'm pretty sure it's from Costco. I think it, my mom bought it for me like, I don't know, like six years ago for Christmas. But it has a really nice peachy tone right here too that I think I'm going to use as well. So first things first, I'm going to be taking um, the shade in the Too Faced on my Sweet Palette called Peanut Butter. And I'm going to be using my crease brush by Sephora. It looks like this just in case if you guys need to take a look. So it's very like just fluffy brush. It's good to get like, you know, in that crease and also kind of blend it out a little bit. So I'm going to be taking peanut butter and just applying that straight into the crease as a transition shade. And as you can tell guys, I'm not really winging anything out. I'm just doing, simply doing windshield wiper motions into the crease just to kind of get it all blended. And um, pretty much just blending. <laughs> All right, so after you get that transition shade nice and buffed in, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take um, this busted eyeshadow palette, but I'm taking this uh, kind of like a nude peach color. So any color that you have similar will work, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to be going in, sorry, with my blending brush by Sephora. And I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid. Alright, so I kind of want to deepen the crease just a little bit just because it's looking a little bit naked right now. So I'm going to go back into my chocolate bar. And I'm just going to use like a matte light brown shade called Mousse, and it's uh, this one right here. You can see my computer is on a mirror. It's pretty funny. Um, and I'm just going to take the same um, crease brush and just go ahead and just kind of put that directly in the crease just to make it a little bit more defined. Alright, so I just went ahead and defined that crease just a little bit more. As you can tell, there's um, just a slight difference. I didn't want it too bold, but it's going to be a summer kind of like flirty, light kind of look. Um, so after that, I'm going to take um, this MAC little eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to be using this, uh, you can't really tell it's so bright, this like peachy color right here. And it has kind of a shimmer to it, which I like. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the lid directly. And I'm just going to apply it right in the middle of the lid. Alright guys, now as you can tell, it just put that little like pop of shimmer directly into the lid, which is exactly what I wanted. So. I was debating whether I wanted to do wing liner with this look, and I think I will, just because I I gotta slay a wing liner, like it's just gotta happen. Like I just need a fierce ass winged liner in my life. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, and then when I come back, we'll go ahead and do foundation. 
Alright guys, so it's time for a foundation and today I'm going to be using my handy dandy L'Oreal Paris Invaluable Pro Matte. Um, I resorted back to this because I was getting bored of my Maybelline Matte Poreless Fit Me. I think it's a great foundation. I was just getting bored. I was like, you know what, I want to try another foundation. So I'm in the shade 104. I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the back side of my hand. I actually need to get more of this stuff. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to straight buff that into my face. Alright guys, you want to make sure that you're getting your neck as well so it doesn't look like you have different color skin. <laughs> And also bring it back right by your ears too. And make sure that you buff that in really, really well. I just noticed that buffing and blending foundation just gives you the most uh, natural results. It doesn't really look like you're wearing any foundation. You just blend it in really well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back for concealer. Alright guys, so I'm back from doing my eyebrows. Um, so it's time for concealer. So I'm going to be using my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. And it looks like this. This is probably one of the best concealers I have ever used in my life. It's just super lightweight and it doesn't crease pretty much. Like it's, I mean, if it does crease, it's very, very minimal. For me, um, I love the applicator on this, and I it just makes me feel so refreshed, and it makes me look so awake and more youthful, and it's just, I love this concealer. I definitely recommend getting this. So I'm gonna go ahead and be applying this under my eyes. So again, let me get my mirror. And then you wanna go ahead and buff it in with a beauty blender. Alright, so after you go ahead and buff that in, um, I'm going to be setting it with my HG Studio NYX uh, Finishing Powder in Translucent. I'm actually almost out of this stuff. This stuff really does work. The only thing that I have about it is that sometimes if you don't buff it in correctly, it leaves like little like white marks on your face, I guess you can say, because it's like HD. Um, but other than that, I really love this powder and it just, it's really just makes your face flawless looking. And, um, but I will say it makes your face very matte. So if that's something you're going for. It's definitely, this is something that you definitely want to use. Um, you can always use a dewy, setting, a dewy setting spray to make it look less matte. Um, that's usually what I do anyway. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this with a, uh, fluffy face brush. So I'm actually going to switch to a uh, bigger face brush because I just wasn't working well with that small one. So now that we're all done with the face up, I can go back and finish the eyes real quick. So I'm going to be also using my uh, Too Faced palette again. I'm going in with this satin um, eyeshadow called Butter Pecan. And I'm using a, what kind of brush is this? A Smoky Eye Brush um, by Sephora. I'm actually not going to be smoking this out. I'm just going to be applying it to the inner corners. So I'm highlighting just a little bit. Just make that pop. And then I'm also applying it to uh, my brow bone as well. It gives you that nice highlight, see? All right. 
So after that, um, I'm going to be using a neutral um, toned eyeliner pencil, and this one is from Wet n Wild, and the shade is called Calling Your Buff, and I'm just going to be applying that straight into the waterline. Okay, so after that's done, I'm going to be using that peanut butter shade that we use as a transition shade. I'm just going to be using it um, at the bot or on the bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm going to be using that uh, peanut butter shade on the lower lash line. And I'm just going to kind of smoke that out. And I'm also just dragging that back into the wing. A little just to give it some definition and then I'm going to take that um, smoky brush as well and I'm going to be using this uh, kind of shimmery peach color that I use in that MAC um, eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to put it right by the inner corner. Okay, and then I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Voluminizing and Defining Mascara, and I'm just going to apply that to both top and bottom lashes. I actually need to get more of this stuff. I really want to try, um, I think it's the Tarte Better Than Sex mascara that everyone is like raves about, but when I get more money because, you know, mom's got to pay bills. You know how it goes. Alright, so I'm just going to let um, that mascara dry. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be doing a little contouring. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills light, uh, light to medium contour kit and I'm going to be taking this angled base brush and I'm just going to use, I believe this is called Bond. This is like a neutral uh, neutral brown kind of like, well I don't want to say subtle, but it's like a medium brown and I'm going to be mixing that with this kind of like more red-ish tone and I'm just going to be contouring just the slightest bit. Okay. So what I've been doing for contouring is I just kind of dab the product underneath the cheekbone to really make it look hollow. You see that already? See how that already gave me some definition? I'm just going to blend it out like that ever so slightly. And boom, instant, instant cheekbone. I'm just going to do the same to the other side. Alrighty, so after I do that, I'm going to actually contour with um, some bronzer instead of using the contour kit. This is a uh, my Milani Base Bronzer in Soleil in number five, and it's just this beautiful golden bronzy color. I'm just going to be using a powder brush for this, and I'm just going to just dust this all, all over the perimeters of my face. Just to give it my face a little bit of color since it is a little uh, pale looking from that uh, translucent powder. Gonna put some on my cheeks. All right, and I'm gonna be using the same um, face brush, and I'm just gonna be putting some um, blush on. This is my cream blush, and it's really gross looking, so I'm not gonna show it on camera. But it's uh, the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Cream Blush in the shade Orchid Hush, and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of the cheeks. All right. And then what I've been doing lately for highlighting is I'll go ahead and spray a setting spray. So I'm just going to be using the NYX Dewy Finish um, Long Lasting Setting Spray. So I'm just going to spray that all over my face. Here's the thing. Oh 
<laughs> and then um, I'm just going to wait until it's almost dry and that's when I'm going to start highlighting. So I'm going to be using this fan brush and I'm just going to be taking um, the highlighter from the Anastasia Contour Kit. And you'll see. One second, you'll see. So I'm just going to pop that onto the cheekbone. Yes. Can you see that highlight already? I'm just going to do a kind of a C shape. Other side. And you see that highlight? Just like, bam! So glowy. Cupid spell. And at this point, the setting spray is drying, so you really just want to focus uh, the highlight on the cheekbone when it's um, kind of damp, because then that's going to give you a really bright highlight, and that's what you want on the cheekbones. Unless if you really want your face to look super glowy, but it's not really the point. It's just to have the cheekbones glowy. Little on the nose. My contour is a little strong today, so I'm just going to um, use this powder brush and just this is uh, use whatever that's access from the yellow powders of my contour kit. I'm just gonna kind of brush my nose off a little bit just so that it's not that strong. All right, guys. So the last couple steps is to put falsies on and, do, and then do the lips. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the falsies off camera real quick. All right, guys. So after the falsies have been applied, um, it's time to do the final thing to this look. And it's going to be the lips. So pretty much you can do any lip color with this. You can do like a bold, like kind of vampy, like dark color, you can do brown, you can do red, you can do pink, you can do green, like it doesn't really matter. Um, but since this is a summer inspired look, I'm just going to do nude. So I'm going to be using my favorite lip combo recently. This has been um, just a nude lip liner. Any nude lip liner will do. I just got this from Sally's and it's in the shade natural. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. All right, so after you're done with that, um, I'm going to be taking my NYX Lingerie Matte Lipstick, or lip, Liquid Lipstick, I should say. I'm trying to find the shade. Oh, it's in, is it Lipply? Lipply, L-I-P-L-I, -L -I, so I'm assuming it's Lipply. Um, this is a nice, uh, natural, like, peachy undertone shade. I'm just going to apply that shade onto my lips. Okay, so after I applied that, I just waited a couple minutes for it to dry. So now I'm going to be taking my NYX Intense Butter Gloss um, in the shade Peanut Brittle. And this is like a good dupe for the Kylie um, lip glosses. I think I think the shade is close to literally. It's like a uh, caramely type of like nudish color. It's really, really pretty and I think it's going to be really popular this summer too because Kylie just has really good lip kits but they are just really expensive. So if you're looking for a good dupe, definitely the, uh, the butter glosses are a good dupe for that. Alright guys, so this concludes this summer inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I just want to say thank you to all the people, all my friends and family that have supported me and watched my YouTube videos. I know that it's not the best YouTube videos in the world, but I still want to say thank you for uh, giving me a bunch of love and support and for supporting me over these couple of years that I've been up here in LA. Um, so thank you guys. I love you. And to anyone new on my channel, Thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you guys will catch me in the next video. All right? Have a good one. Bye.